Alrighty. Where, where my cursor go? Oh, there it is. Okay. We are now in space. Missions. Collect rainbow keys to unlock more doors in the Palace of Light. Search Demantoid's world for Demantoid. So, that is where we are going. Demantoid's world. Let's just explore the map a little bit. A little key over there. A village over there. Boss battle up there. Shop over here. This is a very open area. Like, there's, we, we have a lot of freedom to go wherever we want. Um, so I think we're going to go to the town first because there will probably be like side quests there and then we'll go to what's X no um and then we'll go up here to this treasure and down to the shop and over to the boss okay so yeah that sounds good world 2-1 hey, uh, I see a ninja guy was a bad idea. Whoa, this place is a mess. Reminds me of my room. It appears to be only partially colonized, a work in progress. Steven, this planet is a demantoid is a demantoid conquest. The sooner we find her, the sooner we can convince her to stand down and free her prison. Heart season seven. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, are the white guys building stuff? Whoops, I guess that means it's battle time. Yeah, the music here is pretty nice. Alrighty, so what have we got? What have we got? Um, do our standard opener and see how it works for us. I've got just the thing. This should work. Uh, not what I meant to do, but fine. There was a follow-up attack. Wasn't paying attention. There we go. Ah, bastard. If you're gonna hit Lapis, at least have the decency to only hit her once. Asshole. Nice. Oh, A Bismuth, not R Bismuth. I got excited. I got really excited for a second. Hey, it's that Steven guy, right? Sure am, and you're a bismuth. Ha! You're as smart as they say. By the way, thanks for the whole overthrowing the diamonds thing. If you asked me, they had it coming. Well, I gotta tell you, things still ain't so great in this colony. Not with all these light constructs running the muck. Completely taken over, and they're gearing up for something. Don't know what, but it can't be good. Hmm. Inside all of a sudden. Hmm. Ooh, I bet Pearl's about to drop some interesting knowledge. Based on the designation written here, this planet may have been one of the Empire's most recent conquests. I was right, that is interesting. Or should I say, one of its last? Uh, th thanks to uh, Steven's Era 3. Yeah! Green Chroma. 
We need that for our Lapis outfit. Presumably a Paradot outfit, too. A whole bunch of health. It's always kind of useful. techie stuff, the vibe I get from Demantoid is that she's like the Garnet who's in charge of Paradox. Because like... Because like, well, she's also green on top of that, and then... And then she's got all kinds of techie stuff. believe this? Billy New Colonies is bismuth work, not something meant for these things. Look at the lousy job they're doing. It's all so sterile. There's no life to it. It's like they always say, if you want a jo job done right, always hire a bismuth. Good to know. that, like, Bismuth and Lapis became, like, total bros in Steven Universe Future was one of the more surprising developments of, uh, the late time of the show. Is that really bad? Really? Well, there's a key somewhere. Um. Because, like, I was, I was expecting, and in fact, like, very much anticipating, like, the angst from the fact that... Oh, what's this? Oh, dead end. I have to fight some things for a uh, key? Is that what's going on? Like, I was very much looking forward to, like, just... Like, the talk about the fact that Bismuth was the one who... Uh, poofed Lapis in the first place and got her trapped on Earth. And then they just, you know, ignored that. Like, that just never came up. Cool. Chat says they have the same hat as I do. Yes, it's a good hat. I like it. I like wearing it when I stream, specifically. We, we, we got yeah, a bunch of these. How about this? Finish off these things on the bottom row. Uh. Apparently Lapis didn't see who did it, but didn't recognize her. That's what the writer said on the matter. Well, okay. That, that's... The problem is that doesn't really make sense, though, because, like, we know... Like... We know what the person who hit Lapis looked like because of Lapis telling the story, though. Like... Like, if you go back to that flashback, that was, like, literally Lapis showing Steven what happened from her memory. And... 
So, like, if we in the audience recognize that that was Bismuth, why doesn't Lapis? You know what I mean? You think it's just an unfortunate side effect of the main side characters? There is also that, because, like, in Steven Universe Future, like, it's... Like, I don't know, like... Like, and I feel... It's like, I feel, like, conflicted about criticizing CB Universe Future for this, because, like, it was kind of the point. Like, they very pointedly, like, say several times in SUF that, like, it's a story about Steven. Steven is kind of wrapped up in his own head, so he just plain doesn't notice a lot of the stuff going on around him. And that's why we, the audience, don't get to see it. Okay, that's your justification. That's all well and good. I still want to see what the fuck is going on with all the people that we set up. You know, like, like, because, like, there are a whole lot of characters. There are a whole lot of side characters with interesting stories, and none of them get resolved because Steven is in a depressed funk in SUF, and so we just don't get to see what anybody else is doing. And it's like, okay, that's, like, the framework we're using for your story, but, like, but I still get to complain about all of these story threads that you left dangling. Like, sure, there's a reason why you left a bunch of dangling story threads, but that doesn't really change the fact that you left a bunch of dangling story threads. When it comes to fantastical prism adventures, third time's the charm. Hey, our bismuth! Huh. Oh, it looks like a bismuth's coming over to say something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's not. Oh. A bismuth. That's bismuth. Fancy seeing you rocks here. Hey. Bismuth. Hey. Nice of you to join us. What are you doing here? What's shaking, Biz? Well, you know, I was busy getting started on our special little Earth project. Oh yeah, little homeworld. But then I got your message, Steven, about everything going on with those pesky prisms, and... <laughs> if I remember correctly, uh, Bismuth and Peridot were both DLC characters for this game. They were not in the game originally at launch. And then they were added to the roster later on. Um, like, I talked about this last video, and then I went on uh, Grumpy Face's uh, blog on uh, Tumblr, and they t had an ask a couple days ago uh, talking about this. Um, like, Lapis very much was supposed to be a DLC character for Save the Light. Um... And then, like, those plans got canceled for some reason, and according to Grumpy Face, the, ga the company that actually made these games, um, that was just a decision that was out of their hands. And so they weren't really able to do anything about it or able to communicate anything about it. It was just, like, a thing that was out there in the zeitgeist because people had, people had like, you know, people had, when the game came out on PC, they were able to, like, you know, data mine the files and they found the dialogue of Lapis joining the party um, and being in the party but the Grumpy Face was just never allowed to comment on that because, you know, Cartoon Network, you know, owned and controlled the property um, it's 1.1 okay, Bismuth was not a DLC character, but Peridot was? Okay um, so this game actually did apparently managed to get some post-release DLC, which uh, the last one, unfortunately, did not. Uh, Alright, anyway, let's finish this conversation. So yeah, Bismuth was a core character, I am being told from chat. Bismuth meet George. Well, I'll be. One of these days, Steven, you'll run out of ways to surprise me. That seems unlikely. But now, it's my turn to blow some minds. Check this out. The dialogue is very quiet in this game compared to the music, and I don't think there's anything I can do about that. The the sound settings for this game are very minimal. It's like I, I was looking at that earlier, and it's like it's like your options are music on, music off, dialogue on, dialogue off. So we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that everybody is speaking very quietly here. Prism Containment Chest. Bismuth made this in her forge. A prism contained within it becomes completely deactivated. Okay, so this is just a key item. It's a box. A fancy box. Ha! This here 
here's a one-of-a-kind prism containment chest. It's a little something I built during the rebellion, back when we were dealing with Hesse. <laughs> oh, uh, nobody in particular. <laughs> Snatch a prism in this baby, and you'll completely disable it. At least for a little while. That'll come in handy. This really could be our secret weapon against Pyrope and Demantoid's prisms. But do you think it'll work? Oh, you bet your facets it'll work. I never had a chance to use it, of course. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. But hey, if it doesn't work, I'll just give those upper crusts... Save the light had actual volume out. control. Too bad Alicia Light didn't get it. Well, yeah, it's like... Save the Light was like... An actual game and not a mobile game. <laughs> Like, because, well, like, once again, you know, these, this game was meant to be played on a cell phone. And so, even though, like, even though, like, it was released with, like, the Apple Arcade, which was meant to be used on Apple TV. So, like, surely they knew that, like, this game was going to be played on television screens, like, full-size full gaming setups. Like, this was part of, like, the Apple Arcade launch to go with Apple TVs. Um... So, I don't know. I don't know. It's a it's a mobile game that's available on console, and that just is what it is. You love Lapis's new design so much. I, I do love... Lapis in pants is a great look. Uh, Danny Page of Light says, I'm one of numerous people who was hoping... who were hoping for an anthology series in the future, after Becca's right to do more Steam Universe content. Yeah, the same... Yeah, I'm the same way. Well, not only am I hoping for that, like... That was kind of what I was hoping for with Steven Universe Future. Like, when... Like, when Season 5 wrapped up, and, like, in, like, it was done. Like, Steven Universe Future, like, happened. And at that point, I think the only... We we knew that a, another season was coming. We... But, like, it had never been announced. It had never been announced, but, like, we knew that the show was still in production, so we knew they were making something. Um... And then, like, it was only, like, months after uh, Season 5 ended that they officially announced Steven Universe Future. Um, and in the meantime, we all we knew about was the movie. At that point, I think we did know that the movie was coming. Um, although we didn't know anything about it. Um, like, they had released a teaser trailer for the movie. Um, which was just... And, like, the teaser trailer was literally just, like, Spinel's gem and her silhouette. Um, and a whole bunch of stock footage from the show. So we didn't even know, like, how the movie was going to work. Like, we didn't know if the movie was going to be canon, semi-canon. I actually kind of thought it was going to be, like, anime movies where, like, it kind of takes place, you know, somewhere in the timeline of Steven Universe. But, like, it's not really canon, because, like, anime movies do that a lot. Like, every Dragon Ball Z movie, except for Super Broly. Um, and so... Like, we knew that Steven Universe Future was coming, but we didn't know anything about it. Um, like, we didn't know it was going to be called Steven Universe Future. We thought it was, we thought it was just going to be called Season 6, to be honest. A lot of people did. And the thing I was hoping for at the time, and a lot of my friends were too, was that, like, we w was like that would be... Was that, like, that's what Steven Universe Season 6 would be. Is like, we would actually, like, step away from Steven. Like, Steven, Steven's adventure is over. Let's see what life is like in the wider gem empire now that the diamonds are no longer in charge. You know, what you know, what are the what are you know, what are all the uncorrupted gems doing? What are the what are the Zircons doing? What are the diamonds doing? How are the diamonds coping? Like like we never like we never really saw the diamonds cope with the fact that Pink Diamond is dead. Like cuz like basically like Steven telling them and then finally believing him that Pink Diamond was dead was, like, kind of the last we saw of them, you know, on that front. So, like, how did the Diamonds cope with the fact that their daughter is, like, actually really super dead? Like, Pink Diamond is deader than literally any gem can possibly be. Like, even even the Shattered Gems that are in the cluster are eventually going to get healed by a Yellow Diamond. It's going to take her eons to do it, but she has time. She's immortal. Like... Every every gem in the series survived, except for Pink. How are the diamonds dealing with that? 
We have no idea, because... Because Steven Universe Future wasn't about that. It was about Steven being depressed. <laughs> you know? Uh, a future sequel anthology series would definitely fare better on HBO Max. Yeah, that would be another good place for it. Um, speaking of cartoons on HBO Max, Season 4 of Infinity Train got announced a couple weeks ago, and I'm excited about that. Um, we should actually use Bismuth, I think. Um... Uh, let's try it out, Amethyst. There we go. Yeah, Bismuth and her two girlfriends. Perfect. All right, what have you got? What can I do you for? Um. So share some stuff with Pearl, of course. Nice. Ooh. See, this is why I don't want to disenchant to stuff yet. At least not until I have like the full party. Once I get Peridot in the party, then I'll start disenchanting stuff. Infinity Train is your second favorite show. Nothing will ever be Adventure Time for me, but S, uh, but Infinity Train is pretty close. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm liking Infinity Train quite a bit. Um. It was really, like, kind of funny and also a little annoying to me how Season 3 of Infinity Train clearly ended on a note of, like, we're not done yet. You know? Like, like if Infinity Train had ended in Season 1, that would have been fine. It was a complete story. Everything's, you know, let, you know, Tulip is done. The show could have been just a little mini-series like Over the Garden Wall, and that would have been... Um... Definitely not going to be in the back. Um, uh, probably going to be... Well... Yeah, we'll give... Yeah, yeah I think... I think we're going to want Bismuth in the front. She seems like a defensive person. Um, what's this? Preview badge. Well, that's, that would be better on like Pearl. That would actually be really good on Pearl. Why? Why do I not have that on Pearl? Hey. One must always be prepared. Uh -huh. Back in better like anyway, um, like if any, if season two, like we got like the full story on who would eventually be called Lake Mir Tulip, who eventually I found her identity as Lake, and like that was like way more than I hoped for, like. Lake was one of my favorite characters from season one, and so the fact that she was the main character in season two is was just like amazing to me. Um, like I could not have asked for a better season two. A lot of people, it's not a lot of people's favorite. I know, like a lot of people prefer uh, one or the, usually most people prefer one, to be honest. Um, but like, but like season two being all about uh, Lake was amazing and also once again the story was over once season two was over but then season three ends with you know with like this huge dangling plot hook of uh hazel and amelia going on their going off on their journey throughout the train to fix some glitch that is clearly like a bigger problem with the train than grace has any ability to deal with and also, like, Grace doesn't get off the train either. So, like, she's still on the train. Like, even Grace's story doesn't end because she's still on the train. Um, and, yeah, Jesse is also a great character in Season 2. Like, the, the whole dynamic between Jesse and MT is amazing in Season 2. But, and so, like, Season 3 ends with this huge cliffhanger because, like, Grace's story isn't even over. Like, it has, it has, like, a resolution, but she's still on the train. So, like, she's not done. Um, and then Hazel and Amelia are off doing their own thing. Um, and there was no season four announced. We had no idea what was going to happen, if anything was going to happen. And then finally, like a week or so ago, they announced season four. And yay, we can continue with the Infinity Train. All right, so what do we got for... What are her supers? Bismuth Sperry, a place in front of any teammate to protect them and absorb damage. Stephen Lorry kind of does that. Oh. Target an enemy for direct damage, burn area, and area damage to nearby damage. Okay, so this is like her attack thread. Um, increase attack by five. Okay, this protector. So now I'm immune to stun. That could be good. Defense up buff while forging in the front party formation. Okay, so yeah, and I kind of want her to be in front anyway, so that's probably going to be good. Enemies are at that side. 
All fighting members have their armor pack cap increased to three. Armor packs, armor packs are clearly a mechanic that hasn't been figured out yet. It automatically gives an armor pack to any teammate who is revived. Okay, that's okay. Increase the area size of slam attack. That gives her a little AOE slam. Okay. Attack rating by an additional five percent. Health by five. Who is now guaranteed to get a lucky hit against targets who have a burn effect on them? Interesting. Um, I kind of want to go this way because. Oh yeah. And then if I regret it, we'll just. If I regret that later, eh, so be it. Okay. New team comp. Anyway, so yeah, looking forward to uh, season four of Infinity Train quite a bit. Uh, now we just need to announce when season two of uh, season two of Owl House is coming, and then we'll be uh, golden. What are your moves? Slam is okay. So that's an attack. What is this? What? What? Playing Minecraft? What? What was? What? What just happened? <laughs> so what did that give me, though? That didn't seem to do anything. Oh, okay. It's a two-part thing. Now she is still forging. Okay. Well, that was a waste. So basically, shit. So basically, Bismuth has a two-part thing where she mines for resources and then uses the, uses them to create upgrades. Cool. Nice. Ten perfect it perfects in a row. Nice. Like on a similar topic to the Steam Universe Future thing, like Infinity Train also has that problem, I guess, of there's stuff that I want to see that I think it's very unlikely we're ever gonna get to see. Like Like I do want to see what like Tulip, Jesse, and and, and a Lake are all up too now that they're off the train. And it's unlikely that we're ever going to get that uh, story, unless they do, like, a side comic or something. Like, seriously, though, like, how did Jesse explain to 
like, his friends and his teachers and everyone else that his new girlfriend is made of chrome. You know, did... Did the Chrome Girl get on the news and Tulip recognize her? Hello. Like, these are the questions I have. Okay, cool. well, we can deal with this. some heels. George, help us out. damage, but at least drop the shield. There are too many attacks in this game that cost three star points. Like maybe, like, the... Like, Save the Light had a badge that lets you, uh... Start the game with six star points instead of five. And I feel like if I had that, this would be less irksome. But as it is, like, the. Yeah, it's like a bit of a problem. Okay, what are we. Okay, let's. I don't know what we need to kill first. Stop hitting Lapis! She's not the tank! Here, let's see if this works. Ah, just out of range. I was hoping that slam would hit both of them, but... Top guy was just a little too far away. It's that brand new show, Everybody Hates Lapis. Yep. Lapis does get a lot of hate in the fandom. Oh, I have a freebie. Let's do that. Lapis gets a lot of hate in the fandom, and again, part of it is because of the way Steven Universe Future goes, because, like, you know, that's another dangling plot there. It's like, we never really see how... We never really see how Lapis and Peridot's story gets resolved. Like, like, they... And they clearly resolved it because they're living together in Steven Universe Future. So, like... But, like, what happened there? Did Lapis apologize? Did Peridot forgive her? What, like, what happened there? And since we never saw that conversation, a lot of people just sort of, like, assume that, I don't know, Lapis was, like, is, like, still a bitch for stealing the barn or something? I don't know. But, like, clearly not, because she came back and she saved them, and her and Peridot are living together with Bismuth. So... Like, clearly some character development happened there after she stole the barn and came back. But, 
but what that character development was, we don't know because we didn't see it. <laughs> Why would they transfer all of us business? Why would they transfer all of us business to a new college and then take us off the job? Those things replacing us. You know, they're not even gems. If that might work, I don't know what I'd do. Don't worry, the crystal gems are here to help. You got like a belly button, bismuth. Uh, I'm going in circles. Uh, there was another way, I think. Oh, we got a full Fallen Knight Armor, a mighty suit of armor from Rose's Secret Armory. Check out that cityscape in the background. They've made some progress on this colony. Alright, is that everything? Have we discovered everything there is to discover? I believe we might have. We have not. <laughs> not even close. We need a secret and a key. I'm guessing the key is the secret, so probably we have to find just one secret thing. will lead us to the uh, town and the uh, treasure chest eventually. Where are they? Let me at them. You got it, Bismuth. The, the door. All right. Um, what? Oh, I'm on to you, super secret. Oh, secret. Secret I found accidentally, actually. Keys. Still not enough to open the next door in the. Uh, oh. Palace. Fire assault. Alright, um, let's figure out what the goal here is first before we, uh, uh get too excited. Okay, so gonna get to that green beam plane. Okay, I think I see. I see what you're setting up. What's going to happen when you do this, I wonder? Interesting. Um, hi, cat. Here. Yes. Okay, I see what we got to do. Yeah, like, Seeming Universe Future has some problems, but, like, I feel like I can't complain about it too much. Like, I feel a little bad complaining about it as much as I do, because, like, my main objection to it is that I want more of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like those people who are like, oh god, this game sucks, and then you look at their Steam profile, and it's like, 10,000 hours played. It's like... Yeah, I don't think you really have a pro as much of a problem with this game as you say you do. And, like, that is, like... That is something to be, like, cognizant of when I get off on my ramblings about all the problems with SUF. Well, that looks interesting. Okay. Thank you. 
That did way more damage than I thought it would. Don't break Lapis's focus, assholes. Oh, a healer. Well, they had to take a... Oh my. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got an achievement for that. <laughs> Felt very good. Oh. Lapis is pretty much as overpowered in this game as I want her to be. Mini golf RPG that appeals to both casual and core players. To uh, heal a bit. Fantastic. Ooh, shop. Shoppy shop. Yes, George is indeed beauty and grace. Yeah. Yeah, it rains cookie cats. We don't need any more of these. We need a second uh, key. Interesting. Ambush. Well, that was a thing. Interesting. Damn it. Okay. Now I'm wishing I'd save that uh, George save for uh, now. Huh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is not good. the look of that symbol. Cool. Okay. 
Okay, that really needed to kill something. Ever try one of these? Okay. Now things are looking better. Ouch. Yeah, I want Lapis to get some XP out of this. This is a good little team comp. I, I am happy with this team comp because uh, uh, Bismuth uh, fills in that gap of having a uh, two-star attack that I was complaining about earlier. How about... Here I am without Amethyst. Like, God damn it. Like, as soon as I say, oh yeah, business great, we don't need Amethyst. Freaking. Cool. Keep it up, Lapis. Save us. Save us, George. And a big donut. Ah. So close to killing both of those. Oh well. It is the way. Steven was like was like making doing the Zelda item get sound, but he changed it up just enough to avoid copyright. So do 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 it was do 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 Did you hear that? Or was that just me? Am I re am I reading too much into the uh, sounds of Steven? upgrade or I'm an amethyst costume yay 100% very unlock very unlock Oops, still need yellow that we could give a This is funny. We can almost unlock uh, Lapis's second costume before we can do our first. Um, might as well do that. Give uh, Amethyst her costume, Time. even though she's not in the party at the moment. As soon as we get some yellow chroma, Pearl, uh, Lapis is gonna look swanky. I want, well, gee, I just realized what are Lapis's two costumes gonna be? Cause, it's my page. Yeah, because, like, I suppose Bob. It, it has to be Bob, right? Because, like, because, like, 
that actually is the only other costume that Lapis has ever worn. Like, there's her original costume with the dress, there's her new outfit with the pants, and then there's her playing baseball. I think that's it. That is literally every... Like, unless one of them is, like, her mirror appearance with the mirror eyes, but that's her focus look, actually. It's gonna be Bob, which means we might get some fun costumes in here, like... Like, maybe instead of her Season 1 outfit, Garnet's third outfit is her wedding dress. That would be perfect. Um, anyway, let's go this way, because I want to see what there is in this town. I never doubted us for a second. That stage took a while, but it was only because we got distracted talking Get about Steven Universe James. Future for like 10 freaking minutes. Alright. Nope. Oh. Big group of enemies. Alright, well, I know where we want to go first. time it's battle little clock indeed it is and there go all of her ice shards Watching Lapis work. I really do. Um. I'm actually gonna have to wrap up soon because I gotta go to work. I almost forgot about that. I got so tied up in the game that I forgot that. You know, oh yeah, I have adult responsibilities. Go another half hour or so, and then we'll have to pause the game for the night. <laughs> On the other hand, I can't complain about my job too much because the fact that I work in an assisted living home is the reason why I finally have my COVID vaccine. Uh, I just got that. I got the second shot yesterday, so I'm now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. I'm very happy about, uh, because, uh, for one thing, uh, that means I can, well, for one thing, first thing I can do is get a haircut, because, Jesus Christ, like, it has been, it has been, like, at least a year, um, I can't, I don't remember if I had, if I got a haircut before or after last Christmas, but it was definitely, like, January or February at the latest, which means that it has now been more than a year since I had a haircut. Um, and I need one. Uh, but other, but the other big exciting news is I can... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, heal, but, like, it didn't matter. Um, but the other big exciting news is that means I can go see uh, Godzilla vs. Kong in the theater. Uh, or at least I can do it without, like, worrying myself sick over it. Shot, one kill. That's a pen, that's not a toy. There's an indigo. Okay, come on. There's the key. <laughs> I was trying to find the right joystick angle to grab the key. 
more keys. So only one more key to open up the next uh, ambush. Oh, dear. oh shit. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. How do we... but we can do a lot of damage. Hopefully Bismuth survives this. Okay. Not bad. Now that's a one. Time, to, time for George. Okay. Good, good, good. Cat, that's my mouse. So please don't go this. Uh, yeah, we want to do this. There we go. And once more with Feely. Cat! Alright, you're... You've lost lap privileges. <laughs> when you start threatening to break my mic, that's when you lose the lap privileges. Well, do some digging. What does that do for you, I wonder? I'll have to find out my next turn. Call Pearl, call an ambulance, but not for me. Yeah, that's accurate. So, what does that upgrade do? can't tell. <laughs> so like these are so this is obviously like plus up to attack and plus up to defense, but what do these two things do for you? Coming right up. Now that's something you should always do at the end because now she's just busy for the rest of her turn. It's good to know, I suppose. Oh, it gives us a fiery attack. So did the fire attack come from the sand or from like was that is that sand supposed to be gunpowder? Is that what's going on there? Or black powder? New upgrade. Unlocked a second badge slot for Steven. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, yep. Yep. Shop. I don't think we need any blue chroma at the moment. I'll take that just to see what it is. Adventure jacket. Yeah, we can always use more of those. Anything more to look for? I don't really. Yes, yes, there is. Um,
Um, really, there are still that many more secrets left? doesn't look like a big map, and yet I have four more secrets left to find? Oh, it's probably two, because it's probably like two secret rooms with two chests in- with a chest in them each, but... Secrets. Oh, here we go. Oh, a badge. Immunity badge! 25% chance to resist all negative effects. That's handy. Okay. Training sword, a durable training sword used for practicing the basics. Balance, balance is the key. Right, is that everything we need? There we go. Yep. All right. We're done already. Yeah, we are. Let's see what is in this town. Where are they? Let me at them. Isn't that this is a friendly town? There's nothing to attack. I know you. You're that Steven. Weren't you the one saying we're gonna stop expanding the empire? Not sure you've noticed, but the Mantoid ordered the opposite. These light things are working double time. Yeah, we've noticed. I saw you using the warp pad over there. How was it? Oh, uh, great. The warping was real smooth? Five stars. Still on that warp pad was pretty much the only thing I've accomplished around here before these things took over. But hey, appreciate the positive review. Dianetoy doesn't want the gems here knowing about you. I learned uh, about what you did. You even managed to see all your transmissions before she blocked them. What you did? What you're doing? It's really going to make things better for all gems. On behalf of all bismuths, thank you, Steven. Aw, shucks. Oh, look at Steven. Look at Steven's little blushy fellow in place. Steven, are you blushing? Ah, George. Ugh. Quest. Cat, you're going to knock stuff over. Everything's been getting real upset about all this Demantoid and Construct stuff. But I know better. I'm keeping my head low, biding my time, working on a special project. It's a list of all things that can be forged using the local ore. Want to see? We got the forging list. It lists out all the things that can be made with Bismuth's forge ability. Super handy. Maybe you can help me finish that list. If you're not doing anything more important, I mean. Oh, complete the forge unless losing business forge activity. Okay, so this is just like playing around with the forge thing to see what everything does. So the trick with bismuth seems to be like combining all of the different... The, combining the four different elements to like do stuff. Ah. Uh, hey friend, perhaps you can be of assistance? Now, if you want to help, and no, oh, if you want to help, answer me this. You know what bit you know that what business can build, right? Uh yeah, um, this isn't a trick question, right? Whisper, whisper. Um, they can build anything? That's right. Anything. Business can build anything. So why can't I make heads or tails of this schematic I found? Urgh, it's useless. Here, you might as well have it. Weird schematic. A business found this strange light schematic. I wonder what it'll make. Weird schematic. Make the weird schematic. Alright. Secrets, which are the two quests, so no need to sweat over those. Um, what's this? Need 
some uh, white ore. Actually, we can just... I think that's a good way to uh, end this stream. We can get that right away by going back to the palace. We just gotta find a, uh... Nope. Not my kind of place. Ambushed. So yeah, we just gotta find, uh, one white chroma. Get out of here. Every time. So satisfying doing that. Not too bad. Second badge slot for Lapis. Killed it on this turn, so might as well just take the hit and whatever. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. There's nothing worse than leaving an enemy alive with just a sliver of health. Should be using these turns to forge stuff and see what it does.
I think we're just gonna have to take this hit because like even though I use an item it's not gonna kill anything faster so yeah Ooh. that was not one where you want to botch the uh, heal botch the dodge I mean oh shit that was a lucky block too and it still killed um there's no point forging now, because everything's dead. Might as well just keep fighting until George can pick up pick everyone up. Problems. Bubble time. Got it. Sorry. What needs to happen now is Steven needs to take some damage so I can heal, so we can... There we go. is like the most annoying enemy on the field right now. Spiky mace thing. So that's not gonna do much, but whatever. Oof. Look alive, soldier. Kind of a clutch fight, more so than I want it to be, but you know. It is what it is. Cool. Let me handle this. Oh, shit. 
And then I don't want Lapis to get hit, so I'm just gonna... You have to move Pearl. Not bad, Lapis. Okay. Well, okay. For the second turn, for like the freebie thing, Pearl has to be one of the ones that moves. Sorry. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right. So that's a limitation that is good to know about now. Not how I wanted that to go, but okay. I'm more annoyed about losing the forge, to be honest. Bismuth felt when she learned uh, Hessenite was messing around in her forge. Oh yeah, that is a, that is a good question. Cool. I like to imagine she just like got a, got in her forge, was looking around. It's like it's like oh man, it's like. Like, the worst part about it was, like, she probably just, like, messed with all the tools, and it's like... It's like, no! She organized my tools! She ruined my system! The hammer isn't where I left... You know, the... You know, the whatever special hammer isn't where I left it. Although, like, she usually just makes her own tools out of her arm, so I don't know how many of those... How much that would actually affect her, but... Like, it's funny to imagine, like... Like, oh no, she touched my stuff! Might as well take that. I'm on my way out of here anyway. thing and see what it does. Okay, it's a wrench? Fork? A light wrench. Sometimes prisms can, will make ordinary non-fancy stuff like this, I guess. Alright, let's 
turn in that quest. Because why not? And then we shall call a night after that. Because I have to get to work. After now that I've been vaccinated against COVID, I should I need to earn my keep, I guess. Ta-da! What? How did you? Anything's possible with a positive attitude. That's so. Well, this thing you made, it's useless, you know? Oh. But I admire your spirit. Here, you deserve this. Sparkly badge. The wearer is now sparkly for some reason. Really, that's all it does. That's, that's fun. I bet there's an achievement for, like, beating the final boss with that or something. Just, like, as a bragging rights reward. Alright. And with that, I have to go get ready for work. So that, unfortunately, is where we have to stop for the night. Because we have to be an adult now. Um, so yeah, this is a fun game. It's not as good as Save the Light, I don't think. Just because like that was like a, a like, full-on RPG that was meant to be played you know, with a controller and sitting at a computer or sitting in front of a TV. Whereas this is a mobile game that was clearly made to be played, like, on your phone like this. Um, but it's still good. It's still got that Steven Universe... It's still got the Steven Universe charm. And that goes a long way towards making this a worthwhile experience. Don't know if it's worth $25, because that's kind of a lot. Like, in fact, Save the Light, I think, was only 20 on Steam, wasn't it? Like, when it came out, I think... I think this is actually a more expensive game than Save the Light, which is just all kinds of wrong. Uh, but either way, it's good. I'm enjoying it. And, yeah, it's a fun little interquill between uh, Steven Universe and Steven Universe Future. So we're just gonna... Just gonna exit and save. And with that... I am hanging out for the night. Uh, we'll upload all of this uh, ASAP. Uh, not tonight, because I won't have time to upload this to YouTube. Um, and then uh, we'll continue playing this on Friday. Uh, in the meantime, tomorrow I'll be watching Adventure Time again. See you for that. Bye-bye.